little angel baby. So I'm coming at you with the channeled message. So I had a dream um, early this this morning, okay? Um, and it was about this house that I was in and this tree house. And I won't say any of the people's names because these are people that I know personally. And I, this I'm saying this to say, like, when your ancestors or your guides tell you that you are protected, believe them, okay? It doesn't matter who's coming up against you in the physical 3D realm, you are protected no matter what, okay? So there is this house, it was like this two-story house, and it was almost like a tree house, like all the trees around it were very, very, very like overgrown, all right? And I'm gonna be shuffling while I'm talking. So in this house was this person named Let's just say her name was Betty, okay? And Betty was married to Bob, okay? And Bob is like a father figure, okay? Now, Betty is not Bob's, you know, first wife, okay? He's had many different relationships, okay? Whoever this person was. Like, it wasn't the first time that, that you know, he had been with somebody. So, they come in to, you know, kind of like see what's going on with the house, right? Because it was a new house. Like, it had just been built, but it was also, like, it looked old from, like, the outside. But the, on the inside, it was, like, re completely remodeled. Some, like, if you were to, like, buy, you know, from, like, junk to jewels, it kind of comes to mind. Like, that's how this looked on the, on the inside. Like, on the outside, it just looked like a typical treehouse, okay? But on the inside, it was really great. So um, they came in to, you know, say like, yo, you know, you did a good job. Like, you know, because um, I'm feeling like this person like just bought a house, but it was kind of like risky because the house needed so much work, but it turned out to be beautiful. So they're going through the house and, you know, Betty tries to, you know, come in through the door because she was just on the porch, just kind of like admiring everything on the outside and um, I was there and I told her that she wasn't welcome in the house and she, Betty just disappeared. I don't know where Betty goes. Betty went, okay? And um, so Bob is there, but Bob also disappears, but I didn't have any worries. So Betty's daughter, Barbara, comes in and she's looking for her mother, Betty. All right. And so Barbara starts panicking because she can't find her mother. And I tell her that I don't care about her mother. I don't care about her children. I don't care about her or any of the sort because Betty is not somebody that I was getting along with at all. So I was just like completely honest, like my whole throat chakra just like opened up to completely tell the truth. And it was almost like when I was telling the truth, it was like um, kind of like draining the life force out of them, kind of like... Um, an evolved succubus type of thing. But instead of me draining the energy from her and using it, I was draining the energy so it can go back to source. Like the energy went from her mouth and her eyes into the ground, okay? And it was like this black mist that came out of her mouth when I said that. So I then disappeared, but I was within the 5D. So I was still there in the tree house, but nobody can see me, okay? And um, Barbara never found Betty because Betty had died and it was almost like Betty was murdered, but like not really. So um, what happened to Betty was that like she just died suddenly. I don't think that anybody knew anything was wrong, but she just passed away, okay? And um, Bob never came back. And now Barbara, the daughter, is in the house by herself, okay? And... Uh, She's having a party, and it's almost like a divorce party. It's kind of like a um, girlfriends get together and talk about, like, how bad men are kind of party, and they have, like, glasses of wine, except Barbara's not drinking because she's pregnant. And she ends up breaking down about her mother, Betty, passing away. And um, instead of being comforted, her friends surround her, drag her off the couch, push her to the ground, Okay, and they start chanting and what they start chanting and this is when I realized that the women around her weren't really like her friends, the women around her 
were my ancestors and they were circling her and they were chanting and then I looked down at her again because she was on the floor like bawling crying and she wasn't pregnant anymore so I then snapped from that reality like when that happened and I went outside and I was looking at this boy in a tree it was just random white boy in a tree okay I, I don't know what he was doing previously but I was thinking to myself that you know somebody needs to cut down these trees because one of these trees is going to fall on the house so the boy had like a just a regular handsaw okay and he was cutting limbs of the tree all right so that like made me think about this person dying is cutting away things that are no longer serving you it's like a cycle that's like completing itself and you're not going to have to do anything to make sure that the cycle is completed like your ancestors and spirit guides are doing it for you so let me continue on all right i go outside and i see a co-worker of mine and he is talking about his partner and I was just like you know where did these two they were like two streams that were connecting to this beach and I was like where are these two streams here connecting for and I was like you know I've never seen that before and so my co-worker starts to explain to me how the history of the two rivers connecting and he said that there was a huge storm that came and there was a lot of flooding and it created like this kind of um and I looked up the word and I forgot what it's called I'm sorry it starts with a c and it is just literally that word is the meaning of two streams or two rivers coming together and ending up, you know, in the ocean as they do. And um, I remember just thinking how beautiful the land and the property was. And I saw a cat outside. It was a black cat. All right. And it was nipping at something under the house and it looked like a rock. But what it ended up being was Betty. Barbara's mother's skull that was sticking out from the ground and if you remember the ep the scene in the mummy where the flesh was like kind of ate off because he hadn't consumed enough flesh from human beings like a succubus would to um, be a living thing anymore this skull was like looked like that like it had like dirt on it and it was like undead and I remember her talking to the cat and saying, it's time to sleep now. It's time to go to sleep now. And the life was just drained out of the skull. But it was almost like a hocus pocus type deal because the entity that was possessing that body, okay, like its job was done, but that was its only purpose. And if you know anything about occult magic or you study the occult, um, fallen angels only have one function. All angels only have one function at a time and they can only perform that function, okay, and circle out that cycle. And when that cycle is completed, they have to go back to where they came from. And that's the energy that I got from this was that for some of you, myself included, a cycle is over with a certain person and it could result in this person dying or in reality, it results in resulted in this person reaping the karma that they put and placed on somebody else but like 10 times worse okay um and when this person when betty died betty's children were there but only one of them cared about her being gone everybody else looked at it as it being a benefit okay as them being like a beneficiary and not so much in money because she didn't have anything when she passed it was just a relief that she was gone because she wreaked so much karmic havoc on people's lives. So um, I said that to say that when your ancestors are giving you signs or you're getting readings from people and you're having a tough time in a specific situation or with a specific person and a situation, please believe that your ancestors got that shit covered. Because when I tell you that this girl is on the floor bawling crying didn't have anybody to support her okay like the ancestors were there okay and they were just literally sitting there chanting in a circle as they were walking around and they were dancing because all of a sudden they turned into these native people and they were like you're dragging you're dragging and they were pointing their finger at her kind of like kids would be like nana nana boo boo like what's happened to them or what you did to them is gonna happen to you nana nana boo boo so like your ancestors got shit handled but i really wanted to get that message across okay and make sure that you had that because i feel like it's very 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 relevant to your situation 
All right. So if you need me for a personal reading, please look in the description box. Everything that you ever need will be there for you to contact me and I will see you next time.